Right, we got uh, two new Evil Dead movies in the works, actually. Uh, following Evil Dead Rise, there are now two Evil Dead films in the works. So this sort of franchise is branching out further and further and further. I quite enjoyed Evil Dead Rise, so I'm game for this, quite frankly. What do you guys think? Just from the off, what do you think about the uh, concept of this? Thoughts down below? Let me know. Anyway, here's subscribe if you're new, folks. Turn the bell notifications on. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture, movie news, and movie reviews. So, again, Bloody Disgusting has this overview article. We'll take a look at the brand new news as well. But two new Evil Dead movies are now in the works. Sebastian Vanacek and Francis Galupi are directing each a different film. So, just a couple of months after... So basically, the first one, a couple months ago, we learned that Sebastian Vanacek was doing a new Evil Dead movie, right? This individual did Infested, which is on Shudder at the moment. So that individual, Sebastian Vanacek, is directing the next installment. It says next installment in the Evil Dead franchise. We don't, as far as I'm aware, they, they didn't reveal anything to say it's a continuation of Evil Dead Rise. Hope so, because... That was quite good, I guess, in that regard. I don't know. I had a good time with it. Um, but now there's another movie in the works. So if they're just branching out, who cares? I mean, this just sounds fun. You know, sh show me the apocalypse, basically. That's that's what I want to see. I want to see the, the, the apocalypse on Earth, uh, which is essentially what was, you know, where it was heading. But Deadline is now reporting... The Ghost House Pictures has hired Francis Galupi, who did the last stop in Yuma County, to write and direct another brand new Evil Dead movie. So here we have it. Oh, it's almost like I'm, uh, you know, come prepared. Almost. Uh, here is Deadline's exclusive. I did prepare. Anyway, uh, Francis Galupi has been tapped to write and direct a new Evil Dead movie for Sam Raimi. And Robert Tappert's Ghost House Pictures Sources Tell Deadline. Now, this just sounds like a complete spin off, like a new thing. Uh, the project is described only as an original story that Galupi developed and brought to Raimi and team. No word on a plot or who all will be producing, as it's early days here. Uh, well, one would imagine Sam Raimi's going to be producing. One would imagine. So in a statement to Deadline, Raimi tells us, obviously, I'm on Deadline, so yeah. Uh, Francis Gloop is a storyteller who knows when to keep us waiting in simmering tension and when to hit us with explosive violence. He's a director that shows uncommon control in his feature debut. Good, high praise. I don't massively care about Sam Raimi these days anymore. I know loads of people will be like, that's blasphemy. His multiverse of madness was dog shit. All right, I don't care. Say what you want. It was dog shit. Um, and he didn't get free reign on that. Like, I know, I get it. But meh, I don't know. Sam Raimi has a, a very checkered history on his producing at the moment. Anyway, Evil Dead is, of course... Raimi's horror franchise going back to 1981's same name film starring Bruce Campbell as Ash Williams, a combatant of various supernatural entities. Uh, Dead Eyes, mainly. Uh, the pick grew into a trilogy, also spurring the creation of stars Ash vs. the Evil Dead and a number of other projects. The most recent standalone film, which was Evil Dead Rise, from writer-director Lee Cronin, grossed more than $147 million worldwide when it hit theatres via Warner Brothers after launching at South by Southwest, that would have made quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money, actually, because um, that would have had a tiny budget. I know someone that worked on that film, and they said from the start that that was going to be a pretty decent film, and I did believe them, and lo and behold, it's a pretty decent film. So at present, Galupi's Evil Dead film is one of two in the works, because earlier this year, Ghost House tapped Sebastian Vanacek to co-write and direct a new spin-off for the franchise as Deadline was also first to report on that. So this is the interesting thing. So two spin-offs, no sequels as yet. I don't know. Because Bruce Campbell, I'm pretty certain he did some producing on Evil Dead Rise. I do wonder whether they're going to move things forward in a, 
I don't know, just like constant, maybe like anthologies, you know, like a constant anthology. And that could work. But Evil Dead Rise did reference, like, other movies. There was reference to it. So, I don't know. I'm game for just, like, anthology stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, not everything has to just be a sequel to a sequel to a sequel. You can just go, here's the world that you've created. Here's another story within it that's plausible. Obviously, none of this is plausible, but you get my drift. Like, plausible under the mechanics of the world and universe. Uh, so, Gloopy's debut feature, crime thriller, the last shop in, or the last stop, sorry, in Yuma County, follows a travelling salesman who, while stranded at a rural Arizona rest stop, is thrust into a dire hostage situation by the arrival of two bank robbers with no qualms about using cruelty or cold hard steel to protect their bloodstained fortune. Uh, the pick premiered at Fantastic Fest and will be released by Well Go USA Entertainment on May 10th. In addition to a number of award-winning shorts like High Desert Hell and The Gemini Project, the up-and-coming genre filmmaker has previously been tapped to helm multiple music videos for the LA-based indie rock band Mount Joy. Fucking, I got I'm so old now. Who the hell are Mount Joy? Anyone? Who the hell are they? I could go and Google it. I'm not going to. But my God. So many weird things popping up at this day and age. Anyway, so Francis Galupi is the individual. He's going to be on a new Evil Dead movie. I mean, as a concept, as, as a thought experiment, all of this on paper sounds great. You know, even the one with uh, Sebastian Vanacek as well. So this was the last one. Um, I did a video on it back then. I thought this was fine. Like, this is all good news. Um, there was no details back then either, by the way. Literally no details at all. It was just a new spin-off. A new spin-off. That was it. Which was a weird one. You know, they're just no no info, nothing. But they're picking. I'll tell you what they are picking, which is good, right? As you can see by Vanichek's. He did his feature directorial debut last year with Infested. And then before that, it was just short films. Right? Shorts. Crocs, Mayday, blah, blah, blah. All shorts. So Sam Raimi... Well, you know, I, I don't think he's particularly great these days. But one thing which I've got to commend him for, massively in fact, is giving new up-and-coming film directors a chance. Because both individuals he's given a chance now. Both individuals are names that you don't know anything about. You know, you probably never heard of them before. That's great. That's brilliant. So there you go. Two new Evil Dead films. I know what you're all thinking. Bring back Ash. Maybe. He didn't want to come back for Evil Dead Rise. He said, no, I'm done. Like, I've passed it on. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.